Okay, I'm uh, Bob Spangler. I'm from Rollett, Texas. Uh, I'm part of the Dallas Fly Fishers and the Roadkill Roundtable. Uh, today I'm going to tie a fly called the uh, Leech Mouse. It's a uh, original fly, uh, first tied by Richard Komar, who is a member of our uh, club. Uh, it basically is uh, a uh, badger, silver badger uh, feather off a saddle and crosscut uh, rabbit material. Okay, the hook I'm using today is a, uh, a mustad salmon fly hook, only because I like to tie on, on uh, the salmon hooks. I think it provides a real nice presentation. You can use any standard size uh, fly hook, uh, size four to, to 10. Uh, to start out, we just lay back a, uh, a base, and it doesn't have to be completely over the hook, just back to the back. This allows the uh, material not to slip. Uh, we get our badger feather and we prep it. Again, it's a silver badger. We use it as a tail and you just tie it in so it's flat on the hook. Take your cross-cut rabbit, uh, lay it in so that the the fur is coming off the back. Just tie it in and rotate your line to the forward and just palmer forward the rabbit. Separate your hairs so that you get a cleaner head. A couple ties up in the front. Clip off the uh, excess of the rabbit. And then just build a, a head on it. Just tie off on the head, trim off anything that might be excess. There's a little head cement to Again, this was a fly called the leech mouse. What happens was when you fish it, you, it, it'll float. When you first uh, cast it out, it'll look like a mouse in the water. Once it gets saturated, then the, uh, the fly will sink and it'll look more like a leech. And that's where it gets its name.